Hello everybody, my name is Matsudi Sokhesa. I am a lawyer by training and I am a women's rights advocate. I am a Mandela Washington Fellow of 2016. I was based in Syracuse University, which is in upstate New York. And that was an experience that I will forever cherish. As we continue with the celebrations of the African Women's Month, I want to believe that the details of the history of the month are by now common cause, as they have been reiterated over and over on social media platforms and mainstream media. Mine today is to talk about my understanding of women empowerment. Um, this is a broad concept, subject to um, theorists who will come, uh, strands of feminism, strands of human rights and today i'm just going to say my own understanding based on the literature that i've read and the experiences women empowerment for me starts with self-awareness if as a woman you know who you are and your vision and what you want in life also, a sense of self-worth. This one is a big one. Because it entails, as one, of friend, one friend of mine used to say, having the knowledge of how much you can stretch and being able or having the ability to know when it is enough. That is self-worth. So you know how much you can compromise and when you cannot a woman who is able to do that is an empowered woman, according to me. Women empowerment may also mean having a right and being able to determine your choices. Your choices in the career you choose, whether you will be a, a stay-at-home mom or not, whether to get married or not, who to be in a relationship with, when, if it's about having children, the spacing, that is the ability to determine choices in your own life. Women empowerment also means access to opportunities and economic resources. I know we have heard of issues of uh, girls' right to education, and sometimes now people are talking about a boy child also has a right to access to education. But for us, girls having been able to access opportunities at different levels, in fact, women at large, because sometimes it's no longer about you being able to access education. It's now about accessing those opportunities in terms of employment or engagement. And once those resources have been accessed, to be able to utilize those resources to develop your own life. For me, empowerment also means the power to have control of your own life within and outside of uh, your home. This comes into the context of a woman being able to own her body. A woman not being a subject of violence in her own home and then when she steps out of that home being violated by random people. If we can attain a situation where women in their own homes, they feel safe, they are able to voice their opinions, they are able to raise issues without feeling disempowered or being threatened by violence then when we attain that state we will say women are empowered when women are able to pursue careers outside of their home are able to penetrate into systems without being violated just because they are women whether it's sexual exploitation or abuse of power that we see every day where women are subjected to 
low ranking positions. When we are able to attain a situation or a state where women are able in their own right to be able to be in positions of power and it is not necessarily attributed to sexual favors, then we will say women have been empowered. Also, and lastly, if we reach a state where women are using their influence, which I think we have, uh, we see women influencing direction for social change every day. We see women leading movements. We have seen various movements, whether on social media or in our communities, women pushing agendas for public good or for the good of women themselves or for the good of their girls. That is a state of women empowerment and the rest is history. Thank you.